There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nope. guys welcome back to our video so today is july 25th 2020 you guys can see i'm wearing a life jacket looks like i'm ready to go on the wave runner because we are i don't work till 11 today it's around six o'clock right now so i'm gonna head out on the wave runner real quick try to catch some flounder probably gonna just fart around the inlet then move into the bay but uh yeah calculated the tide wrong it's low tide right now unfortunately so gonna be pretty pretty sketchy getting out there but once we're out there we'll be good once we get into the channels it'll be pretty deep so like i said we're gonna head to the inlet first to fish i'll we'll go over all that on the gopro but um yeah we're gonna head to the inlet fish the bays got a stringer got a tape measure hopefully catch some fish looking for some keepers to get some dinner um fishing's been kind of tough past few weeks i mean i really just haven't been catching a lot um, making one video here or there and just catching a few fish not enough for a video so i'm gonna head out now guys gotta stop talking the tide's going down every second i keep talking so i'll see you guys on the gopro when we head out there should be a good day got four or five hours to fish so we'll see what happens see you on the water peace <laughs> All right, guys, just got out here to the uh, the inlet, and it's actually still outgoing tide right now, so I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was gonna switch a lot earlier, so we're gonna fish the end of the uh, outgoing. It's only gonna be lasting for another half an hour or so before it turns slack and it switches, and then we'll be uh, fishing the incoming. But I'm just gonna get set up now, drop some gulps down, toss the GoPro on, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Like I said, hopefully catch some fish. Quick little boat ride out here. Couldn't shoot any B-roll, obviously, because I'm flying 60 miles an hour. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens today. Should be a good video. Let's catch some fish. Let's catch some dinner. All right, go in the secret compartment to grab some gulps. There we go. Here's, here's our little gulp jar. So the colors of the day, I think we're gonna pick chartreuse, of course, and let's go with a little salmon. Let's go with a little uh, orange and red action over here. And we'll just toss this gulp jar back up there. I really like this wave runner. It's actually my uncle's. And uh, just let me borrow it for the morning. But it has a ton of storage. My other one's a little more zippy. Can turn pretty quick. And can handle waves a little easier. But this thing, from coming out for a long trip, this is what you want. Someone with a lot of storage. So, any Wave Runner sponsors out there, let me know. Alright, then here's our rod right here, guys. This is a, our, our famous Hakuma Pixar Star Rod Combo. I mean, I really love this thing a ton. It's great for pretty much everything. You guys have seen me catch kingfish, stripers, flounder. Um, I don't even know what else, man. I, I, I even call bass on this. So this is a very versatile rod. And we're just gonna toss our gulps on here. This is a, uh, a chicken rig. What you guys don't know what that is. It's literally just two teasers, two light bucktails over either a heavier bucktail or a, uh, a weight. And that kind of just Allows you to fish heavier weights without losing the finesse presentation. Of course, you're missing right on the bottom, but the fluke, are not going to feed directly up the bottom. They feed if it's 6, 12 inches above them. So this is what we're working with now. And we're just going to drift this guy around. Let's kind of move this net out of the way. And there we go. Got like two little quarter ounce uh, bucktails right here. Using these as teasers for the longest time. We got a three ounce weight on the bottom because we are fishing pretty deep water here in the inlet. I'd be around 40 feet or so. And yeah, like I said, it's probably not going to be much happening right now because we do got really slow tide. So we're just going to be drifting, kind of shaking off this uh, little slack portion until we hopefully get a fish. That's obviously going to be the goal. Um, three keepers is the plan. We'll see how that holds up. Hopefully catch some fish soon. If not, we're just going to be jigging and waiting. Many hours later. Oh, it's a fish in there. Oh. 
fish down there. I can't get them to stay on the hook. I had a few decent bites here. There, oh man. Must be a little one. It's all right. There it is. Finally, man. Little guy. Rat, probably 12 inch right there. There we go, guys, though. I mean, it's been rough. I totally made a rookie mistake, man. I just woke up at 5.30, thinking earlier the better. But I totally forgot about the current, man. It was it was still outgoing when I got out here. And then that uh, outgoing is just went right into slack, and there's no wind to get any drift, so it's just been a slow, oops, been a slow, slow, slow morning. I went to my little secret spot, tried to get a fluke over there, couldn't even do that. But uh, yeah, I've just been sitting here, finally starting to drift a very tiny bit. Yeah, it's not not been the best. So we'll see what happens, guys. Just gonna keep jigging, wait for this current to really start kicking, and hopefully drift right on top of a mess of nice keeper fish. that one must just be all shorts there it is feels a little bigger not a keeper but oh man look at these little guys this is the biggest one of the day oh yeah this guy is maybe 12 inches micro micro fluke there you go see you bud back down to the ocean floor I've only drifted maybe 30 feet since the last fish Always getting bites consistently, so this is looking pretty good. Hopefully not all shorts out here. Dropping back down, probably in 40, 45 feet. Pretty deep here, um, even at low tide. Water is incoming, starting to income, and it's pretty cold, so I don't know what that's gonna do for the bite. Maybe turn it on. Normally outgoing's better, but we're on a time constraint. You can't really pick, pick your tides. But there we go. Got a little fish, haven't even drifted in between that jetty yet, so we're just getting the strip started. I'm gonna drift way through the bridge, see if I can find a good spot where I'm getting consistent bites and just rerun that spot. But we're just gonna do a long search drift now. Just see if we can get on any decent sized fish and then hit that spot over and over. There he is. Oh my God, I keep losing them. <sighs> Oh, there he is. Oh, man. I was just laying out more line, and that guy smoked it. Jesus. There he is. A little short. Really tiny one. Oh, actually, that guy is digging a little bit. I don't know, just came up awkwardly. For a second, I thought it was actually a decent sized fish. That's probably what these guys are, just real tiny ones. But I'm not getting them hooked good because they're so small. Now a little short. Beating up my gulps though, man. Come on. But found a little pocket right here. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, that was three quick fish. Really, really quickly. I mean, that was all within a minute. We had three, four bites. Not even bites, just complete misses. So we'll keep jigging this. Right, once we find a good spot where the fish seem to be stacked up, we're just gonna keep pounding that. But right now, we're just doing a big old search drift. There's the fish. Oh, sea robin, look at that. New fish of the day, sweet. I just catch something a little different. I'm sure there's plenty of these guys down here too. There we go, guys. A little sea robin right there. Sweet. Something big. Took a nice chunk out of my gulp right there, too. Oh, and we lost a tail. Dang it. All right. Well, that sucks. All right, driving back down, guys. Putting on another little salmon. I don't want to put anything on too big, because if they're taking up the tails off these guys, that five or six inch gulp is going to just get obliterated. So save those for if I ever go out to the reef eventually one day but right now we're just gonna drop down a little four inch chicken rig and 
trying to avoid the shorts, but there are so many of them. Plus these little sea robins. I mean, there's a fish paradise right over here. So we're just gonna keep on jigging. See if we can pull up anything a little bigger. There we are. This is a little bigger, might have snagged enough. Oh, actually, it's a bigger fish. Might even be pushing 16. Get the net out just in case. Oh, one person net job is always the hardest. Oh, got him. It's a bigger fish for sure, dude. Not going to be a keeper. I just want to measure him real quick. Yeah, 15 right there. 15, 16. Nothing big. But biggest fish of the day. So I'll take that for sure. There you go, guys. 16 incher. God. Freaking slippery thing, especially in a wave runner. All right. He's gone, released. Now we gotta untangle this and then get back down there. That guy choked the uh, the chartreuse four inch gold. Nice. All right, let's get back down there. This chartreuse gold has definitely seen a lot right there, but uh, drop back down, still has plenty more fish in his uh, lifespan. Up down, wash that slime off my hands. There we go. Gotta see the fish again a little bit bigger. No monsters yet, but good sign for sure. All right, we're down. Let's jig up another one, see what we can get. Oh, there we go. Knew as soon as I had boats, those boats went by, I was gonna get thrashed around and that was gonna cause a little fish to come up. I thought it was gonna be a keeper, but day of the freaking eight inches I guess see you bucko boom drop back down yeah this is dead right here from this back end jetty until I guess I don't know those rips right in front of us absolutely dead it's pretty shallow not liking it at all but that's what we're drifting here for a real long drift like I said and then we'll just come back and pound the areas that we caught some fish in but now you can see it's dropping off deeper again we're about to go underneath the bridge Expecting some more good bites, and there's a fish. <sighs> Our little five incher. <laughs> See you, bud. Oh, crap. See you, little guy. There we go. Another one, man. So we found a little another hole. I don't even want to keep these guys on my line. I mean, literally, it's just dropping real now. See it? Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. First drag puller of the day. Come on, but come back. Come back for it. First drag puller of the day. Gone. Sucks. Go. Oh, <laughs> God, I'm losing fish left and right. It's ridiculous. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nope. Oh, not as good as I thought when he first laid on it. <laughs> well, actually, it is a little bigger. I don't know if she'll keep. Oh, Jesus. That's how you lose a fish right there. Nice net job, Dylan. Little 16 inch right there, probably we lost. One hand net and it's not the easiest thing in the world. But that's all right. Drop back down and we'll see what else we can get. Missed a real nice one back there. First drag pull of the day, but we'll go run back over and drift on top of them. Just keep drifting, see if we can find anything. Well, guys, just re-ran up a drift a little bit. Got a little 17 and a half incher. Not sure if you guys saw that. 
but uh, yeah, lost some, lost one pretty nice one here, first drag puller of the day. And uh, yeah, they had a 17 and a half inch right underneath the bridge. So we're just gonna jig this a little bit. Got maybe an hour, hour left. And uh, this is pretty much the name of the game, what we're gonna be doing. Definitely plenty of fish around, but just the size is pretty lackluster so far. Whoa, look at that, guys. A weeky. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. Wonder why it felt a little weird. A little weak fish right there. Awesome. Might be a keeper, but these guys are pretty much extinct. So let's send them back. Cool little weak fish, though. Awesome. All right, cool. Just snapped a cool pick of the weeky. Send them back to be caught another day. Hopefully, grow up to tide runner status. But uh, yeah, there we go. Did not take long at all. I'm sure we got some more fish as well. Let's switch up a gulp. I got a bit off my tail. Let's go with a five inch gulp. See if we can get anything a little bigger here. It's all been pretty much small fish today. Let's go bigger gulp. I'm sure it's gonna get its tail bit off a little quicker. Let's see if we can get a big fish on it. Cool little weak fish, man. Finally put the end to my uh, gulp over here. They're definitely down there, that's for sure. Got a big old tangled mess over here, but we do not have time at all. It's 9.33. Gotta be work at 11, like I said, so really kind of running short on time. 45 minutes, half an hour left. Let's see what else the fish gods have in store for us. Oh, there we go. That feels good. I don't know, we'll see. It's a sturdy bend. Nah, not fighting as big as I thought it was. Thought it was. Thought that was a nice fish though on the hook set, we'll see. Nah, little guy. On the salmon. There you go, guys. Not a little short right there. <laughs> Trying to throw you back, bud. Just hold on. There he goes. Sweet, drop back down. Well, that just happened, guys. Just got a gorgeous little snag right there. So I'm not retying. We gotta go anyway. It's fun while she lasted. Thought I had a giant fish for a sec. But snag, snag, that's what you get when you're fishing next to a jetty. No complaints from me. That's what I expected. So I'm gonna toss the GoPro in the front little case and then we'll uh, be on our way out of here. So pretty good day. I record out at the dock. But uh, yeah. Can't complain, wasn't that bad of a day. Caught some fish. Caught plenty of fish. Even caught some decent ones. Missed plenty of fish, but it's all right. Fishing's fishing. See you guys at the dock. All right, well guys, just got inside. Um, yeah, pretty fun morning. Woke up way too early. Woke up at like uh, five o'clock. Tried to get on the water around six. And uh, yeah, it was definitely not necessary. I didn't get to fish till maybe eight o'clock, 7.45-ish. Um, just cause I, I miscalculated the time. The tide, I mean, went there outgoing. Then I fished slack and it was just, yeah, not fun. Not a good trip in the morning. Um, but then as the current heated up, of course the action heated up, the boats came out. And uh, yeah, caught plenty of fish. I think I missed one keeper. Um, I, I mean, the GoPro was rolling all day. I don't know what, what I caught and what I didn't, but had that, uh, the one was, I was actually pulling drag when I was trying to reel them. So that was probably a good fish. Had a few which were close. Uh, 17 and a half was the biggest one. Not a monster, definitely not a keeper, but uh, yeah, close enough. It was fun just to get out there, catch some fish, caught a little weak fish, which is cool. But uh, 
yeah guys that was gonna be a wrap for this video i'll be out there again doing the same thing i got a lot of videos i'm trying to get off the checklist for the summer just because past few weeks i've just been working and looking for cars um because i did get my license recently so i'm gonna put that to use drive some spots try to catch some more fish and uh, yeah try to get some more videos up for you guys try to upload a little more consistently that tuna video also kind of crushed me i mean it took two three weeks to edit and uh yeah guys thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed any more videos coming up and i'll see you guys in then in then <laughs> see you guys next time peace out